guys today is monday and i haven't read a single word in 3 days so i am currently reading masters of death by olivia blake i am halfway through more than halfway through i've read this much um yeah it's very heavily annotated if you can tell um but the reason is because i'm very confused like this entire book is very confusing um i think it took me like i think i was like past 120 pages when i finally started figuring things out about this book like about the story itself like it's very character driven which is nice but like i am someone who needs like a plot like i need like a strong plot and this has that but like it just took like 120 pages to get there the way the world building was was like so mysterious or not even mysterious it was like it was like they were trying to not tell us things like that's how it was like yeah i don't know it just took a long time to get to a point where it started getting good but then it's also kind of for that reason it's giving me a slump i think which is why i haven't read anything in the last 3 days so yeah it's monday i am going to continue reading this now and hopefully i mean ideally i want to finish this today itself but i know that's not going to happen like there's over 100 pages left well yeah there's about like 150 pages left which i could normally do it but i feel like it's probably not going to happen just because my reading pace for this book has been really slow just because of how confusing it is but yeah ideally i would like to finish this today because tomorrow foul lady fortune sequel foul heart huntsman comes out and i really i i want to get it i want to go to the bookstore i want to get it and i was just going to you know read it like just finish it off and like find out what happens and yeah so that and also um threads of power v shops new series that's set in the same world as dark shades of magic is also coming out tomorrow so yeah two big chunky fantasy books coming out tomorrow that i really want to read so yeah i know for sure that i will start foul heart foul heart huntsman as soon as i get my hands on it because obviously it's a sequel so i already am immersed in the world but for darker shades of magic i'm wondering like i'm i think i'm going to wait and see what like people are saying like if there's like a cliffhanger at the end like if it's going to be something that i should wait for the sequel for or if i should just read it now cuz usually i'm the type to wait for sequels before reading books i don't read the first book if the sequel's not out yet so yeah let's let's see what i do i'm going to try my best to finish i I'm, i'm going to try my best to read as much as possible so that i can finish it by tomorrow or the day after and then i can get started on foul art huntsman masters of death by olivy blake let's get started Page three o six. Now 
I read about a little over 70 pages, which is a lot considering that I literally did not want to pick this book up for the last three days. But actually, like, the point I had stopped, like, if I would read just one more chapter, I, th- I think it would have just, like, that period of me not wanting to pick the book up wouldn't have happened because like the actual interesting parts started like this is game in the book and like the first like 250 pages were like leading up to the game and then like the games started so like i'm finally now reading like the games part and like finally understanding what it's about like what's happening basically so it's really interesting and I kind of don't want to put it down but have about 70 more pages left which I think I will easily finish tomorrow. So yeah, this is how much I have left and this is how much I read. Um, yeah, actually very interesting once you start understanding everything about the book. Overall, I think I really actually enjoyed it. I've never read something like this before, but I've also not, I think, read any like whimsical kind of books. I think I need to like branch out more and read those kind of books. But yeah, the first half of it, like over 120 pages, I had no idea what was going on. Like I didn't know what the story was about. So that was definitely an issue for me. But other than that, like, after that, like, especially, like, when they start, like, um, when he finally accepts that he has to go play the game, and then they're, like, doing, you know, stuff, like, it all started finally coming together, I think. The alternating timelines were kind of confusing. Like, yeah, that is one thing. Um, yeah. Also, I don't know why... Like, I, I, I read the back of it before reading the book. So, obviously, like, the two characters that are mentioned as, like, the main characters in this, in the synopsis, I thought, obviously, like, it would be, like, them together. Like, it would be about them. But very pleasantly surprised that it wasn't them. Because the entire time, I'm like, oh, now, you know, they're going to fall in love now. This is going to happen and stuff. But none of that was happening, so I was very confused. But once, like, things came up and, like, it started making sense, like, then I was just like, oh, my God. Like, because it did, it surprised me in the best way possible, I think. So, yeah, that was very exciting. Um, I think it was a very good book. And it's it's, like, the kind of story that I will think about often and, like, something will happen and it'll like come up for me so that's very exciting and like i also liked how like it mixed a lot of genres together like there's like vampires in it there's like ghosts in it there's death in it there's um greek gods in it and you know like king of vice and like things like that like there's like all these different like fantasy aspects and stuff and like you've got them all in one book but it's not like a fight to the death or like you know like a typical like fantasy book but more like whimsical funny you know i don't know found family vibes and like yeah like 
very very interesting and very fun the dialogues were also fun so many so many good lines as you can see i annotated it a lot the first half was because i was confused and i wanted to mark anything that seemed a little bit suspicious so yeah also love that there's like all these pretty pictures in it between chapters so yeah very very fun yeah yeah <laughs> So, yeah, I'm excited to read other books by Olivia Blake. I have one for my enemy, and I also have Alone with You in the Ether somewhere. Um, those two I want to read for sure because I have them, and um, I want to reread the first book in the Atlas series, Atlas Six, um, and then read the other two books because I haven't. I read Atlas Six when it was still like not it hadn't been republished by Tor, so I read a version, the earlier version, and now apparently the Tor version is like a little bit different in terms of the story. So I need to read that again to make sure I know the correct stuff before reading the Atlas Paradox. So yeah, at some point I need to get that book and read it. But first book in what I read this week was Masters of Death. I finished it. I read about one fifty pages in total, I think. Wow. Yeah, approximately one fifty pages I read so far this week. Hello. It is Wednesday. Um. Yeah. It's Wednesday night. I haven't read anything yet. Next book. I already started this. Like, if you've seen my Dubai vlog, I've already started this. I started this back then, but then I came back and I was like, in a big fantasy mood. So I stopped reading this and then started reading like Foul Lady Fortune and like. Since then, I've just read fantasy, and only fantasy. So. Anyways, I read till about, not, yeah, I've read till page 38 and I stopped in the middle of a chapter. So, but I do remember what happened, even though it's been a month since I started it. And I think this chapter, this section ends at like page 70 something, maybe. Let me see. Yeah, page 77. So, about... 40 pages so yeah i'm gonna try to read at least 40 pages of this and then read the rest tomorrow anyways third book in the before your coffee gets cold series by toshikazu kawaguchi called before your memory fades second book in this readathon sort of much so far <sighs> I think I mean definitely one of my all time favorite series like it's so good I can't believe there's only one more book after this I've read the first story loved it like it's always so like heartwarming and like you know makes you feel and like every story i mean in this yeah love it i think i honestly might read the second one right now as well when i started it right now like i wasn't still in the mood for like this kind of stuff but like 
technically this is also still kind of like fantasy but like it's also like so easy to read and so just so heartwarming that like i feel like i'm very much in the mood to read like i finished that like the last 30 pages like really quick so i think i might just read the second one and see there are total i think there are four in total let me see yeah there are four in total so if i read the second one as well i'll be halfway through the story but yeah i think i think i'm gonna do it because i'm i'm like in the mood now like i'm in my head i'm already at the like i'm at the cafe i'm in japan right now i'm in the cafe on a hill and like yeah the smell of coffee is there like it's night time and like yeah i think i'm gonna read the second one as well now let's go the second story as well um yeah more than halfway through now if you can tell yeah enjoying it a lot um i really don't know what to say <laughs> yeah i think the first i like the first story more than the second one but the second one was also good it's just i think the first one was more like it touched me more and it felt more heartwarming and stuff but i think um the parallel in the second story between the character who comes to the cafe versus um nagare who's like the main character i i really enjoyed that and seeing that comparison and like the ending result which i won't say but like you know i annotated it a lot but yeah i really enjoyed that part and yeah i'm excited for the next story because that is something we already got a hint of in the previous stories and so i'm excited to see that yeah and i don't know about the last story i, I don't remember it i don't think we've come across it yet so yeah two more stories to go i'm looking forward to it i think i will most definitely finish it tomorrow finish this book tomorrow yeah so today i guess i read uh, about 100 pages yeah. Why did it have to end like that? <laughs> uh, yeah. I need the next book. I hope there's like more discussed about what happened at the end, literally the last two pages maybe because literally the entire book was so heartwarming and so you know therapeutic kind of to read and then the last two pages happened did they really have to do that did they the other the first book i think was just like but like I mean this really did a good job of being like a sequel to like such a good first book um first and second book 
but uh, I think in some aspect it was just different I don't know why but yeah also I just can't help seeing all the editing issues in it like there was one part where like some they like there were two people having a conversation but like someone's name was misplaced so like another character's name was put in instead of the character who the person was actually talking to and like things like that just like take me out of the story and then I'm like in editing mode I guess so I was just like yeah can't can't help there were like grammar issues sometimes and like yeah there will always be mistakes but like I just felt like it had a lot of glaring mistakes that I was like how did this not how did they not catch this I don't know so I read about 100 pages today yeah exactly 100 pages and I finished this book so now I'm gonna pick up something else yeah hello it is Friday today um, I ended up starting a book this morning but I forgot to record it but anyways I started Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Feeney um, I'm like 70 over 70 pages done with it so far yeah it's like about 300 pages so yeah a mystery after a really long time I read uh, Daisy Darker by this author last year or like a couple like early this year and really enjoyed it and people said that I should if I loved that I should read this so I ended up buying it a while back but yeah so I wanted to read like a fast paced you know book but also like a book that I could try to read in a day because I I'm really scared <laughs> of uh, mysteries and like thrillers and stuff so yeah I would need to finish this today so that I can sleep well so yeah it's like four right now but I'm only like on page 70 and there's 300 pages so I don't know if I will be able to finish it before like it's dark because that's when I will have to stop um, but I will try to read as much as possible of this today and then I will let you know how it goes but yeah Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Feeney yeah so far it's really good I'm um, enjoying the whole alternate timeline thing but also like the unique way of telling it which is like through letters so yeah I'm enjoying that and I'm also like this is the writing style is very similar to Daisy Darker like obviously uh, which I'm really enjoying because it's like there's like so much, we're getting like all these in, all this information about the characters and like their you know marriage and everything but at the same time like there'll be like these little moments where like she'll throw in like some hints as to like what happened and like hints and like or like just like not even jump scares but like you know just like something that is like eerie and like makes you think like oh like what is happening and like I'm I'm enjoying that part a lot those parts a lot because yeah the basic premise is that these two characters the main characters they have been married for 10 years and they're not having a great marriage and they've done like counseling and everything so the counselor basically suggested that they go away for a weekend somewhere and like you know hope that that saves them basically so that's what they've done and they've come to scotland and like are live are uh, have rented uh you know repurposed chapel and like they're living there but like it's all eerie there's like dust everywhere it looks like nobody's lived there for ages and like just like things here and there and like why does the husband know where the dustpan is and like all these you know small small things that are like what is gonna happen um yeah anyways 
very interesting so far i am enjoying it like the in the beginning the chapters were quite long i think just because um they needed to get through the main premise of the thing and what but once they got to the you know place that they rented where they're staying and stuff then it started picking up and it's like three pages per chapter which is like the exact thing i needed cuz i need like a high fast paced you know yeah anyways let's get reading i have yeah i have like 230 pages left approximately so it is already dark outside so i had to stop obviously did not finish the book but i am more than halfway done finish this much yeah i'm like literally all like right like a couple pages past the halfway point um yeah things are getting scary <laughs> so i had to stop but also like i can technically finish this today if i try but i know that i won't be able to sleep then <laughs> so yeah things are getting scary but like it hasn't gotten to the point right now where like hopefully <laughs> it hasn't gotten to the point where i won't be able to sleep tonight but yeah things are getting very interesting i am yeah i can't wait to like get to the final reveal because i'm not able to make many guesses either like i have some guesses like you know can't even say them because they will <laughs> spoil things anyways um yeah things are not going well for them is what i will say and it seems to be their fault as well so yeah literally i am just wondering about what will be the end i feel like i'm going to be really shocked about some things because i can't make any guesses for that but there are some things that i'm guessing and i feel like i'm right about them so yeah I tomorrow is Saturday so I think I'll have more time to read tomorrow so I should be able to be done with the I should be done with this tomorrow afternoonish eveningish um yeah I will continue tomorrow anyways I read 150 pages today pages to go
reveal has already happened though. Oh really? I, I mean, one of the biggest reveals just happened, but I don't know what else could. Okay. I mean, we'll find out the real reason soon, so I feel like that will be big as well. Let's see. Okay. ended up finishing rock paper scissors uh i think the day before on friday i'd finished i reached like 150 pages i think let's see yeah i reached 150 pages and so yesterday i read like about 50 pages at home and then the rest 100 pages at a cafe with my friend um yeah this was insane as you can tell by my reactions to it. Um, I didn't get the plot twist at all. Like whatever I was thinking was false. Um, this was insane. Like I literally had to reread the page, like the pages where the different twists came up. Like I had to reread them like a couple of times to make sense of what was going on. And then also to like think back to the, like the previous hints and stuff and like, see how they connected and like how they all fit in with the twists and it was just yeah like I was shocked every single time like yeah there was like one or two twists that like I caught on to right before they revealed it but like n yeah I didn't predict any of it like I didn't guess any of it and like especially like the last chapter last two chapters i was just like like there's the twists had already happened and then like on top of that another twist that like literally gave me goosebumps and like made me so scared like i was like yeah like insane like five stars for sure 
loved it i need to read everything else alice feeney has written because daisy darker was also something i couldn't have guessed and this also turned out to be that way and i from what i see at the back she has written a couple more books so i will need to check them all out so yeah love this um this is all i read yesterday so about 150 pages on saturday so yeah <laughs> Sunday today, last day of what I read this week. Um, I went to a cafe with my friend again, and I started Sorcery of Thorns. I've read sixty pages so far, and like things have like so for this, I went in blind. I even bought it without knowing anything about it because some uh, some of my friends recommended it and they had loved it. So. I knew nothing about this book and I started it not even reading the back and everything so very different from what I thought it would be about but like in the best way possible and I'm just I'm just loving it it's so well written it's so unique I guess the concept as well and like something I've never read before so it's really nice and like now I'm like I've been uh, I read this really slowly obviously because I'm trying to make sense of the world when I have no knowledge of it. So, it's been a slow read so far, but we finally like I think 10 pages ago or something we finally like the inciting incident kind of like finally kicked the book into action. So now it's like getting really interesting and really like um yeah, like we've got the we finally met the main character and like you know, yeah. Things things are happening. Things are starting. so i'm excited yeah i've heard really good things about it and even you know when i posted that i started reading it on goodreads like people are like telling me that they loved it and stuff so yeah i'm i'm really excited and the writing is so so good and i know there are like a couple other books that i've seen on bookstagram by this author so i think i'm most probably going to love this and i need to check out this author's other books as well so yeah i don't know if i'm going to have time to read more tonight but if i do obviously i'll show you guys but so far today i've read 60 pages so overall um this week i've uh, this week i've read about four books i started the week off by reading masters of death and finishing the book i'd already started it before this week and then after that i read before your memory fades that i'd also already started before and had read about 30 to 40 pages and so i finished that book as well and after that i read uh, rock paper scissors by alice feeney which i read in two days friday and saturday and the fourth book which i've started and i'm 60 pages in is sorcery of thorns so yeah that's all the books that i've read this week and here are like all uh, the number of pages i read every day of this week so yeah that's all for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it let me know if you want to see like more of this kind of stuff or like any suggestions of what kind of videos you want to see and see you next time
Yours is very you, mine is very.